Um, hello, I'm doing a video today on uh, QR code generation and putting them on your drawings to view a model. So I'm going to go through the whole process. So I have this model here. These are two mirrored stairs and this is a copy of this stairs because there's an issue with headroom. So they're either going to cut this out or we're going to redirect the stringer up and then back so it needs to go out so i've already created um, a file as you can see from my docket manager <coughs> so i've created an rfi this is it here so it just shows an elevation of both stairs and then a detail from each a and b so what we'll do is we'll plot this out so let's plot this okay i'm going to put it in the folder i want to go to which is in my client folder in here i'll go into the third folder we can just leave it called that it's fine don't need to rename it so here is here's your file all right so let's close this down for a second so now what I want to do is go back to the model. I'm going to turn off the cameras. It doesn't really matter because the cameras won't go into my auditor's drive anyway. So I'll turn off my cameras. I'm going to select the two that I want. I'm going to turn off. Sorry. And I'm going to show only selected objects. And now I'm going to go to the top menu here go to export 3d dwf make sure i save it in the correct folder so i can find it and i'm going to call it tangram which is a project and i'm going to call it rfi now i should match the rfi to the number of the other one which was the date which was 12 to 20 so i think 122 will do and save that all right so now i've exported this to a 3d dwf so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to close that down let me drag over my web browser let's go to my autodesk account so in order to go into your autodesk account we can just start again i'll go to autodesk drive so A-U-T-O, A-U-T-O, and Autodesk Drive is down here. Click on your Autodesk Drive. This will bring me in automatic because I have an account. And I'm going to go to Clients. And this is the Project folder. And now, if you have it as the same name, you can just go here and you can go upload a new version and you can compare them. But I'm just going to upload a new file. So upload files. You're going to go back into my projects folder. And it's this one here, which I just created. You can see at 805, it's now 806. Okay, so that's going to open that file. <coughs> so now here's your file. So what I'm going to do now is click here, go to get a link. You can see this will automatically come on with this on so you could turn this off if you want so if you don't want people downloading your model and then you can just share the link to access the file so we're going to copy that close now we're going to go back to our web browser go ahead, just type in qr and it'll give you code generator and i like to use this one for now uh, sometimes it comes up second sometimes it comes up third this one here and then paste you can see here's the one i use and then you can click these so you can there's a couple of different options and you can put your own logo in if you want so download and this will take a second to download you can see it tells you here don't close anything and you know it's it would be nice to have your logo in here i guess uh, so what I do straight away then is I'll go straight to that file show in folder and I believe I've opened that now by accident so let's close that 
and let's rename this and rename it to match what you just uploaded because uh, you don't want to get confused because you might have a couple of different versions so rfi122 and then i'm going to cut that and i'm going to bring it over to my folder which is here and i've saved the pdf in this one here so now i have my pdf and i have my qr code so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back i'm going to open this so this is just going to open i'm going to right click i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to go back to my pdf which is not there it's here and then click on the pdf Control v and we can just put it right in there you can put it wherever you want obviously so where we have space usually i, I put, just put it over in the left hand bottom corner but the title block is different on this for this client so i put it over here and then file save as browse sorry computer browse a client i'm in the right place so i'll just change the advanced style the qr code QR save so now that's the one with the QR code so uh, I should not close that sorry I should have printed it out so let's open it again see if I open it here we can see the QR codes there I'm going to print and let me change the size tabloid okay okay so I'm going to print that out and then uh, I'm going to go over to my tablet and you can see how that works hopefully all right see you in a minute hello so i printed out the, this file and you might notice a couple of things this didn't come out like the pdf i had because i just copied and pasted and it blacked out the whole area of the image uh, which is fine, so QR code will still work. The bigger issue was the link I took was from the wrong file in my Autodesk drive. So I went back and I took the correct link. I created a new a new uh, QR code in like a minute. And this here is the code. So what I did with this one is I screenshot and then it didn't black out the area of the image. So what you do next is get your tablet or your guy in the shop. On your shop floor, he can have an iPad or whatever he can have. And let me just log in. And then click on your camera. And once you run your camera over the codes, it pops up straight away on the top. Click on that. And it'll open your file right here. As you can see, there's my two stairs you can zoom in and you can see that's the redirected one and this is the notch that one now recording this and everything took me like 10 minutes from start to finish it's probably a five or six minute process uh, so you know you also can check all the properties here if anybody else uses this a lot of people don't seem to use it but it'll give you properties of whatever elements you pick so that's useful you can get some nice visuals too i mean if you isolate members so isolate that you can get a kind of a nice view through your stairs there and you can also download images so it's pretty useful so this will help you if you want to give somebody quick access to the model from uh, your drawing pretty easy just copy and paste them 
Alright, I'll just use this. Thank you. Bye.